The county governments are now stepping up implementation of the Ministry of Health protocols in efforts uh, containing the spread of the coronavirus. To sustain this endeavor, Coast Regional Commissioner John Elungata has directed chiefs and other administration officers to strictly enforce guidelines, especially relating to public gatherings. This coming at a time when Baringo members of county assembly put the county administration to task over measures put in place to curb the spread of COVID-19. Coast Regional Commissioner John Elungata has once again warned that action will be taken against national government administration officials whose areas of jurisdiction register a breach of government guidelines aimed at combating the spread of coronavirus. The administrator singled out Kilifi County, where he said funerals are taking place in total disregard of the set guidelines. The regional commissioner cautioned that security agencies will continue enforcing mandatory wearing of face masks while in public places to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Na ningependa kusema kwamba si kitu tenda cha kusukumana na mtu. Kama chief anajua katika eneo lake hajachukua majukumu lake kwa njia ambayo inafaa. Aanze kuyatilia mkazo sasa. Kwa sababu sidhani kwamba hizo siku 30 ambazo tumeongezewa zitapita kama mmoja wao hajajipata taabani kwa kulegea katika kazi yake. A serious action. In Baringo, members of the county assembly have asked the county department of health to put more effort in the fight against COVID-19 spread amid confirmation of a first case of coronavirus in the county early this week. The MCAs especially called on Governor Stanley Kipti's administration to improve surveillance while urging the locals to uphold health guidelines issued by the government to prevent the dreaded virus. Cabernet MCA Ernest Kibet slammed the governor for not addressing the county assembly on interventions aimed at containing the spread. Uh, we're asking the county government, the executive, to rise to the occasion. We, as the members of the assembly, we are ready all the time to provide the necessary support, the necessary financial support to the executive so that they ensure that this pandemic is minimized. In the meantime, Busia Governor Sospita Ojamong has urged youth in the county to be innovative so as to create own employment in areas they have comparative advantage, addressing the youths during the rollout of the second phase of national hygiene program Kazim Tani at Busia County Stadium. The governor said low absorption rate of youth funds confirms the culture of lethargy among most young Kenyans. He challenged the over 3,000 youths enrolled in the program to plow back part of what they will earn during the six months duration. Elsewhere, residents of Mbere South Sub County are up in arms over a move by the county government to allegedly transfer COVID-19 patients to an ill-equipped health facility. The residents claimed that the move was ill-advised as this was likely to endanger other patients and those operating in adjacent markets. They are threatening to stop the transfers if the county administration fails to heed to their calls. Beatrice Gatonyenge Teach, Channel One News. Wale wagonjwa wa COVID wanapaswa kuletwa kwa hospitali za 